I've never eaten a chicken so delicious and easy. And quick recipe. To start our recipe, I will start cutting to chicken breasts, in the middle this way. Then I will soften the chicken, with the help of a meat hammer. Once this is done, I'll take the chicken to a container, add a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of fried garlic, and I will stir everything very well. Tell me if you have any chicken recipes. I'd love to know. Once that's done, I'll chop an onion. And before I forget, tell me which city you're watching, so I can send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Randy Howard from the United States. I'm glad you're enjoying our recipes. Now I'm going to grate a carrot. People, I love this recipe. I'm sure you and all your family will like it too. I do it myself every week here at home. Now I'll put some oil in a pan to grease. Then I will add the chopped onion, the grated carrot and I will stir well to braise. Make this recipe at your house and then come back here to tell me what you think. Once this is done, I will transfer the onion and the braised carrot to a container. Then add 50 grams of mozzarella, 100 grams of heavy cream, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of fried garlic and I will stir everything. This will be the filling of our chicken. Now I'm going to put our seasoned chicken pieces on a surface. Then I'll put small portions of the mixture on top of the chicken this way. Then I'll spread it with a spoon. Finally, I will roll the chicken stuff this way. Careful that the filling does not come out the sides. Now I'm gonna get a pan that can go in the oven and transfer the chicken pieces. If you have a little bit of the mixture, you can make more portions. Done that in a container. I will put 100 grams of mozzarella, three tablespoons of heavy cream and egg, a teaspoon of salt, and mix everything well. This will be the cream of our recipe. The result of this recipe will surprise you. With the cream ready, just pour over the chicken. Then spread with the help of a spoon. To finish, I will bake in 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 minutes. After the time is ready our recipe. Look how beautiful it was. Now just serve and enjoy this delight. This recipe has become routine here at home. I'm sure it will become routine in yours too. Is a very easy and delicious recipe. There is no reason for you not to do it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.